All right, welcome to Last Call with Tampa Bay's Morning Crew. It is August 11th today, and uh, nothing's changed when it comes to the temperature in here. What? How cold is it? By the way, if you think we're wearing the same things as we did we yesterday, are. we are because we're freezing. <laughs> We keep we keep sweatshirts uh, in in the office because today was another sixty four degrees when we walked into the studio. But Jr., that wasn't the worst part of the morning. You actually started out really bad. Okay, so here's the deal. A couple weeks, so I have a lifted truck, and the tires on it are obviously a little bit bigger, more expensive. Is what it is. I had plenty of life left on my tires, but I found a screw in it. Happens to everybody. All mm-hmm. good. They're, they found actually another nail in that same tire. Well, here was the, here's the thing that happened. So they said, hey, you know, we can replace this, but we don't have those same tires. There's a rubber shortage because of COVID. Right. Okay, fine. Do you have anything that's similar to them? Well, we do, but we only have two of them. I go, well, I don't want to ride, you know, two different treads, you know, two on the front, two on the back. It's just going to be weird. Uh, Okay, well, we found two more in Texas that will match these, but it's going to cost you $200 to send them out here. I go, it's going to cost me $200 Two hundred bucks to get your what? tires out here. Two one for you to send out. <laughs> I said, "All right, well, I'm kind of you know stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Fine, get them out here." Well, let's just say that after being done with all four tires, we were well over a thousand dollars when it got all said and done. So ouch, I'm like, ouch for sure. I'm like, whatever. This thing happens. It is. I'm. I put it behind me. This morning, I wake up. My tire sensor goes off. And it says, your back left tire is holding only 14 pounds. It's oh. supposed, supposed to hold 37 pounds. Eesh. Okay. So then I go to the gas station. I'm like, okay, maybe the, because it didn't look like crazy flat, but I'm like, it looks a little low. So maybe the sensor in the tire didn't get put back right, right. or something like that. Something. Well, get to work and I start to look at it again. I go, there's a f- nail in it again. Are another you serious? Nail. There's another nail in the back tire. I'm like, I'm not going through construction zones. I drive home after this. I yeah, drive where are to you the, driving? I drive to the gym, and I drive right back. The only thing I could think that was weird is yesterday when there was a lot, a lot of flooding down in Treasure Island. Like, mm. my car was spitting up water, you know, just maybe something got flushed out in the road. But with my luck, hey, we ran right over a nail. It's right there. <laughs> I'm just it's like, now are we are they going to be able to repair the tire or is it so far back or close to ugh, do they have I, to get a new tire again? I have no idea. Now I have the protection plan that says they will fix it for free if they can fix it. That's but good. I have not heard from them this morning yet to say that they can fix it. Hopefully they're <laughs> oh my. still working on it. Oh. Uh, I mean, I just like are you kidding me really this JR morning? Our drama. When you come out of your house yes. at, at f- four o'clock or four thirty in the morning and you're already a little tired and then your tire, it has an L in it. You go, you got to be kidding me right now. This is not That's the way the I want to start my day. Yeah, your tire got tired. Yeah. Thank you, Lona. So. Write that one down. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, by the way, can we talk again about this uh, hotel room that you can rent in the UK? It's a Willy Wonka themed. And they I said, ain't you, going. You're not going. They said you can lick the walls and they taste like candy like you saw in the movie. Cool and everything, but not in 2021. I thought you made a good point as they say that they replace the wallpaper every guest. No, they don't. There's no way. <laughs> Lana goes, I they tried to scrape. They have to. Well, they should, but Lana was like, I tried to scrape off wallpaper this weekend and it took way too long. There's it was, no way. You have to have this spray and then you have to have this certain like tool. It's like a scraper. It takes forever to do that and then to put it back up. So what are they going to just keep putting layers and layers up? Yeah, it's nasty. I mean, it can't obviously be all the wall. Maybe like one section or something, but oh, yeah, yeah, the small section that you just lick the walls. Yeah, at your but hotel. who? But think about it though. They're putting the wallpaper up on the wall. Some handyman, some maintenance man in the hotel is putting up the wallpaper using his hands, and all of a sudden you're walking up there and licking it. That's another good point. I mean, come on. I mean, let's talk about germs. <laughs> let's talk about them. <laughs> That's a lot of germs. I mean, the, you, the other thing that was weird was the chocolate bath. You can take now lana's first question was is it good for your hair i don't know if it's good for your hair but that's nasty you're sitting in i mean think about i mean i'm not saying you have to drink the chocolate but just think about sitting in your own filth and then it becomes chocolate nope everybody think about it <laughs> we're all sitting here thinking about it that's nasty <laughs> That's correct. I don't know. I mean, the chocolate fountain sounded awesome. Marshmallow. You see them at weddings sometimes, mm-hmm. like the marshmallows, the that strawberries. That would be awesome. Yeah. I'm in on that. Yeah, exactly. Ugh, yeah. Ugh. Uh, also, second date update that we had today. Definitely go check it out. Uh, Sonia found something on Google Images that kind of freaked her out about Brody. But I didn't really think that Brody necessarily did something wrong unless he's hiding 
more to the story than than what he shared. I think it just I think it just is how you feel about this kind of situation because yeah. Brody uh, is is dating, although he's not officially divorced. Now we don't know what the story is. There might be more going on to why he is not officially divorced yet. But Sonia was like, "No, I'm not even going to start dating you until you're divorced." And some women are just like that. Sure, and some aren't. I mean, honestly, I started dating before I was officially divorced but- because. I had to wait. But you had filed paperwork, right? It was all filed and everything. That's the thing. He said it was not filed. He had not filed anything yet. And it had been two years. That's the part that was like, okay, dude, well, what's going on in the last two years? Well, sometimes there's there's things that happen. I mean, it's finances or it's ownership of something or there's kids involved. Or I'm not saying those things were brought with Brody, but I can understand why sometimes people wait. Yeah. I thought his explanation was a little weak, though, of why it didn't happen. But hey. It was a little weak. Yeah, you can hear it for yourself. It's on our Instagram and Facebook page. That is Last Call with Tim and Bay's Morning Crew. We will see you tomorrow.